Yo, basketball card collectors, investor friends, Cajun Cardboard coming at you from the great state of Louisiana. Um, today, as promised, I've got a uh, three box, box rip uh, of a product I know nothing about. Um, I collect a little bit of 2017, 20, or I'm sorry, 2018 status because I like the Doncic uh, rookie card that year, so I mess with that a little bit, but this is 2019 uh, status basketball hobby box uh, Asia T Mall. I don't even know what that means. Um, I'm trying to get better at ripping these boxes. Uh, it goes against everything I believe in from a uh, investing standpoint, but it is fun, and uh, I have miserable luck, as you guys know. If you know anything about me, so I uh, wanted somebody to to share uh, the misery with me. So uh, I went ahead, I already broke the seal on the other two boxes so I don't waste too much of your time. Um, but uh, we've got three of them, so let, it, let us get going here and see what we got. So uh, pretty cool, this box is super light, super small, compact, obviously there's not much to it. Um, as you can see it is 10 packs per box, six cards per pack, I think there's 10 uh, inserts and 10 parallels. So I don't know the first thing about this. I want everybody to understand that. So I don't even know what I'm chasing. I'm really just opening this for fun. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what happens. I don't think I've opened anything from uh, the 2019, 2020 class even. Uh, whoa, these are cool looking, yeah. So, uh, Romeo Langford rookie card. We got a Damana Sabonis. Kevin Love. Andre Drummond. Upper echelon. Looks like a, looks like an insert. Another upper echelon behind it. Steph Curry. Yeah, these are cool looking cards. Um, again, I might flip to the back to see if these things are numbered or what. Because I don't know much about them. Uh, we'll make a little... Rookie card stack up there. And then, as always, every time I rip stuff, um, you know, if you're a subscriber to my channel and you've got kids that want some commons, that just want basketball cards that are shiny, uh, let me know, because I'm not gonna keep the commons. I'd be happy to send them to, uh, to whoever. All I need is a um, shipping address. I don't even mind paying for the shipping. Um, Kevin Herter, Langston Galloway, Lonnie Walker, back when he had the crazy hair. CJ McCollum. Okay, so this is a this looks like a parallel. Yeah, not numbered, but it looks like a parallel. Pretty cool. Pretty pink. Unfortunately, it's Landry Shamit, and then an old Dirk symbols insert. Let's see, what we got. I couldn't wait to get here and rip these boxes. They've been sitting here for forty eight hours, and so I was supposed to go lift. I was supposed to go work out this morning, and decided to. Uh, Come open cards instead. Uh, Kai Bowman, rookie card. Uh, Patty Mills, who's having a great season for the Nets. Draymond Green, that looks like some kind of parallel. I don't, know. I don't think any of these are numbered. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess I could pull a numbered one. Um, Trophy Club, there's a cool one. Kawhi Leonard, man, his name is written so small. I don't have my reading glasses on. I'm an old man. I can barely even read that, but a Kawhi Leonard Trophy Club insert. My terrible luck continues, guys. I guess I'm looking for a John Morant rookie, or more specifically a John Morant uh, rookie parallel. I guess that's the that's the chase here. Carson Edwards, little dude from Purdue. Um, Quindary Witherspoon, Hernan Gomez, Chris Dunn, Jamal Murray, parallel. Oh, there's a cool one. And so that's a status, new beginnings. Uh, Jordan Poole rookie insert. He's pretty hot right now. Um, been watching him play. I've been watching him with my son um, on League Pass. The dude can play. He does some stuff that's very Steph like. Um, I think his comp, his best comp though, is uh, there's a deer and fox. I think uh, Jordan Poole's best comp is Bradley Beal. That's just me. He's a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit smaller guard than Beal. Can't really overpower people to quite the same extent. We got a Trey Young, Demar Derozan. Marvin Bagley, where have you gone? And then assembles. Scotty Pippen. Um, these are good looking cards. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments um, what you think about status. 
uh, or if there's any uh, if there's any products you want me to rip next. I haven't gone. Um, like I said, it's tough for me to rip wax because I know it's usually tossing money to the wind. But um, I haven't ripped any real high end stuff yet, so maybe that's why I'm not pulling anything. New Beginnings Goga Batadzi. It looks like also a parallel of some sort. Uh, GP, the glove. <clears throat> What do we got? Let's see. Uh, ben Simmons still in uh, hibernation. James Harden starting to pick it up. Mitchell Robinson, Landry Shamit, another Mitchell Robinson parallel, and then a New Beginnings Matisse Tybal, who is one of the best perimeter defenders in the NBA and is actually also a very good interview. I saw him on the JJ Reddick Old Man in the Three podcast. He's very good, very engaging, intelligent dude. Um, takes his craft seriously. Ty Jerome, rookie. Derek Rose, Devontae Graham, New Pelican, Hassan Whiteside. Um, symbols, Shimmer looking. Uh, Chris Webber, another Symbols, Harden. Oof. Colin Sexton, out for the season, it sounds like. Lonzo Ball, Daniel House Jr. Davis Bertans, a pretty cool um, parallel of Kevin Durant. And then another guy that's in hibernation right now, for some reason, not being allowed to play, is Kyrie Irving. Where's Kyrie Irving going to end up this year, guys? You think they're going to just forget about it? I don't know about this Omicron variant. I thought maybe the... Um, I thought maybe the coronavirus, uh, the COVID situation would kind of simmer down enough to where he'd finally be able to play because they'd relax the rules. But now this Omicron thing's out there, so I don't know. That doesn't bode well for Kyrie coming back to the Nets this year. I know they're probably trying to move him under the behind the scenes. Brandon Clark, rookie. Kevon Looney. Jimmy Butler having a great season. Cam Reddish. Ooh, that's a cool-looking insert, and it's numbered. Oh, that works. So a status trophy club. Numbered to 125, Kevin Durant. Uh, when he jumped ship and won one with the Warriors. That's pretty cool. And then another Brandon Clark, uh, New Beginnings. Rookie inserts. So, I do sleeve and, and top load cards, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm not doing it at the moment because I don't want to take up too much time. I'm going to try to keep this video under 20 minutes for you guys, so... I just kind of put them in stacks and then I sleeve them after the fact. Nikhil Alexander Walker, uh, rookie card. He's had a disastrous season. He's had every opportunity to succeed and play and prove that he is who we thought he was and he's not doing a great job. MPJ, unfortunately, he's injured. It's not been a great year for him. He was terrible before the injury. That's a great picture. Interesting. Looks like he may be doing a windmill. Um, Eric Gordon, yuck. And then a Cameron Johnson, rookie insert. Well... So far, the best card is a number to 125 insert of Kevin Durant holding a trophy. Uh, Jalen Knoll, rookie card, Danny Green, Tim Hardaway Jr., Markel Fultz. We'd like to get Markel Fultz back and get him going again. Um, he was showing flashes of actually making a comeback and shooting the ball a little bit better. But even without that, his floor game was really good. Um, and then, of course, there's my guy. So one of my uh, one of my biggest prospect investments is uh, Darius Garland, along with Kevin Porter Jr. from this year. So happy to get a Darius Garland status. I don't think I have one. So I uh, really like that one. I'll definitely uh, penny sleeve and top load that one and, and check it out a little bit closer. Uh, Grant Williams, uh, another Dirk, and then a Fred Van Vliet Trophy Club. Fred Van Vliet can thank Kawhi for that BS title they won that should have been the Bucks. The Bucks should be coming off two in a row. But I digress, and I am not objective. Uh, Jackson Hayes, rookie. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, Steven Adams, Tristan Thompson, Evan Fournier, parallel. Cam Reddish, rookie insert. Yuck. Let's see if we can get something worth a damn. Let's see if we can get something other than guys. Y'all are going to stop watching my box break videos. Eric Pascal, rookie. Karis LeVert. Dante DiVincenzo. Will Barton. Ah, there's a cool card. 
and Anthony Hardaway symbols parallel so parallel insert number 17 out of 49 it's a cool looking card really cool looking card hmm. I like it just leave and top load that and then a Trey Young uh, second year halfway through nothing great to speak of I'm not, again, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for. I'm, I, I guess I'm looking for a numbered John Morant, a uh, numbered Zion, um, maybe a numbered LeBron, something like that. I guess that's kind of the best you can hope for. There's no autos in here, to the best of my knowledge. Cam Johnson, rookie, a Kawhi Leonard. Um, there's a parallel insert of Brandon Clark, rookie insert. Ah, Glenn Rice. Loved watching Glenn Rice back in the day. Great Hornet, great heat. Tremendous three-point shooter. Was fantastic at Michigan. Stone Cold killer. Great player. Fun player to watch. LaMarcus Aldridge, Josh Jackson, Julius Randle, uh, Kelly Oubre Jr., another Patty Mills. Shimmer-looking thing. A Doncic insert. Okay. There's an upper echelon on Doncic. I sleeve all my Doncic. I'll sleeve that one, of course. Top load it and just kind of throw it in the throw it in the raw collection. Along with hundreds of thousands of other cards. I have sitting um, Joe Ingles, Kevin Porter Jr. There you go. So that's my guy, Kevin Porter Jr. and Darius Garland. I hit the two guys I needed to. There's a LeBron base, which is cool. Oh, oh we got some action here. So I also PC Jalen Brown. So it's always nice to get a parallel of Jalen. Add that to my my Jalen Raw stack. <clears throat> I really hate every time it seems like. Jalen Brown's breaking out and proving he is who I think he is. Something happens. He gets injured. Uh, it happened again this year, and now he's kind of taking a little bit of time coming back, getting healthy. R.J. Barrett, rookie card. Wow, has he been having a terrible season, especially compared to last year. Terrence Mann, rookie card. Kobe White, rookie parallel. He's actually come back and started to do some things. That's nice. Good pack right there. Where this would be the last pack of, I think maybe the last pack of box number two. So I think it was uh, 30 total packs. So I think we're about halfway, uh, a little bit past halfway. Uh, D'Anthony Melton, uh, Mifiandu Kamengele, and Kendrick Nunn, rookie card. And PJ Washington, rookie card. That's a lot of rookies in one. Here we go. So here's a, an insert parallel, upper echelon of Steph Curry. That's pretty cool. So that entire pack was all rookies and then a Steph Curry. Uh, we got a Buddy Heald. We got a Jay Crowder, who seems to be playing forever. Kyle Lowry, another Steph Curry. Uh, for God's sakes, that's enough Patty Mills. I've had enough. I don't need any more. And then Scotty Pippen inserts. Rui Hachimura, rookie card. Where the hell is he, by the way? Is he injured? Is he COVID? Is he... What's going on? I don't know. I, mean, I haven't really paid much attention to him. I'm not a real huge... I'm not super high on Rui Hachimura, but decent player, and the Wizards are winning, and they could surely use him. Uh, and there he is again. So, rookie card base and a rookie insert for Rui. Um, good pack if you're a Rui collector. Where is he? What's he doing? What's wrong with him? I probably need to go check him out. Uh, Goran Dragic, speaking of, where the hell is he? Is he injured? Is he just being sat on the side? I'm not sure what's going on. I think he's in Toronto, which I would think they could use him as a backup point guard, but I think they're playing Malachi Flynn. Uh, Isaiah Roby, good promising little rookie for uh, <clears throat> Kelvin Johnson. Oops. There's a cool Kawhi Leonard card. I know who that's going to. Another Kawhi Leonard card. I know who that's going to. All right, uh, bowl, bowl, oh my gosh, shut the door, sound the alarm, we have got the bubble hero himself, bowl, bowl, Mike Conley, Jaron Jackson Jr., DeAndre Ayton, and Kobe White, another Kobe White rookie, 
Looks like some type of shimmer parallel. Sorry if I sound ignorant, guys. I told you I don't know anything about this product. And then these are good looking cards. Another New Beginnings rookie insert for Tyler Hero. Speaking of bubble heroes, wow, Bull Bull and Tyler Hero in the same pack. Um, Tyler Hero has made a, a comeback and is substantiating his uh, bubble reputation. However, uh, Terrence Davis, rookie card. Kyle Kuzma, Aaron Baines, Victor Oladipo. Ah, that's a cool LeBron insert. Upper echelon LeBron insert. Cool. I'll sleeve and top load that. Another Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard all over the place in this past last two packs. Okay, we got five packs left, guys. Let's see if I can grab one more numbered uh, parallel. Maybe uh, maybe pull a heater out of here. I've uh, kind of kept up my streak of you know pretty crappy cards. People are gonna stop watching my breaks because they're gonna know they're gonna be awful every time. Casey Akpala, another Jordan Poole. Uh, rookie insert. No John Morantz. No Zion. Yeesh. Come on. Give me something. Bogdanovich, Kristaps Porzingis, Carl Anthony Towns, Brogdon, uh, Lucas Samanich. There's a kind of beefy looking Olajuwon insert. Hmm. We got a Cody Martin rookie card. We got it. There he is. Okay. So a John Morant base status rookie card, which is good. We'll throw that in a penny sleeve and top loader and check it out. See if it's worth grading. Although most base, it would appear, is not worth grading. Giannis. Obviously, PC Giannis is a huge Bucks fan, so that's a good one to keep in the collection. A Lou Williams. And then an Anthony Davis. Upper echelon. Oops. Wrong stack. There we go. Two packs left. My streak of misery continues. And yes, I know, it's probably because I'm buying crap products with very few hits. I don't know. Uh-oh, I see something crazy and shiny coming up. Um, unfortunately, I also saw the name of the player associated with the crazy. And Bruno Fernandez. There it is. Good-looking card. Looks special. It's gold. It's numbered to 10. It's 5 out of 10. And it's Laurie Markkinen. Unfortunately. Uh, good player, not great player, trying to uh, get his career on track, playing with a great team right now. Gold is hot. Um, that is a cool looking card. Can y'all see? Um, serial number to 10. Um, I guess that's the hit, guys. Sorry. Uh, sort of a swing and a miss. That one's going to go to B. Gilgis Alexander. He's a huge Laurie Markin and believer. Last pack. Uh, oh, we got a Jordan Poole base rookie card. We got a Josh Okogi. We got a Dwight Howard who got snubbed on the top 75 team. We got a cool LeBron insert parallel here, and then a Tim Duncan. So that's it, guys. Um, sorry, once again, the streak continues of, uh, of really nothing to speak about. I'm not sure if maybe I should, maybe I was expecting too much. I don't know. Um, if you feel sorry for me, uh, please subscribe to the channel, <laughs> like. Uh, like and comment. Let me know what you think about these status cards. I think they're pretty good looking. Um, next, uh, next group of uh, next box break I do, I'll make sure I get a little bit higher end product, and hopefully we can get something to uh, to write home about. Um, I really do appreciate your comments. I can't tell you how much it matters for you guys to like uh, the video and subscribe. It's the only way I can grow this thing and hopefully get out to more people. Um, if you, uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's Cajun Cardboard. And on Facebook, it's Cajun Cardboard. Um, uh, last night, uh, I released a new episode of um, Explore the Card, where we talk about the 1993 Ultra and Michael Jordan scoring kings and whether that's the number one insert that uh, every Jordan collector must have. We'll have a basketball card battle video dropping uh, next Monday. I think today is December the 2nd, by the way. So that'll be dropping on Monday, whatever the date that is. Um, that'll be an interesting episode to watch. That's going to be episode three of Basketball Card Battles uh, coming out on Monday. If you haven't checked out my other videos, go check them out if you don't mind and hit the like button if you like them so I can keep doing this and make sure I've got somebody out there that loves me. Um, I think we're up to 52 subscribers. And so 
Uh, like I always say, that's more than the number of people in my family. So somebody must like the videos and somebody must care. Hit the bell icon to get constant notifications. I want to make sure you guys get it. I'm doing about three videos a week, maybe four this week. Um, when all is said and done, I've got uh, some PSA reveals coming up because I just got two submissions back. Uh, so I will be uh, doing another one of those videos today or tomorrow. So hit that bell icon and ask for notifications so you see, uh, so you see what I post and what I publish on YouTube. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Always appreciate the feedback, positive or negative. Uh, just keep it clean. Let me know in the comments. And uh, until next time, peace.